Hi guys, it's Adele from Inky Quill here with my third installment of Grab 5, which is a series that I've started in 2015, where you grab five items from your stash and try and use them all in a layout, either 12x12 or Project Life. So first up here, I have um, the Kiwi Project Life edition. I just went thirds with a friend, so that was new and I wanted to get that used. Next up I have, let's see, I did this a little while ago, so I'll see if I can remember. These are some Dear Lizzie vellum pockets that I bought off the Project Life Australia Garage Sale um, Facebook page. They're really, really cute. And I couldn't go past these Maggie Holmes bows from my stash. I'm not sure which collection they came out with, um, but they're really, really cute. Next up, just a piece of adhesive cork, which I use for a couple of things, as you'll see. And these gorgeous chipboard stickers from the Project Life desktop collection. So this is a recent collection that only came out last year. Um, and they're just really, really pretty. And I thought the colours went well with the Kiwi and with those Maggie Holmes bows as well. So you'll have to forgive my voice a little bit. I've gone back to work and my gorgeous kindergartners have made me sick already. So I have got a bit of a croaky voice, which is why there was a bit of a delay in putting this up. I was hoping to have it up at the start of the week, but my voice was just not going to let that happen. Um, in You'll see in that bottom right-hand side, I did put a bifold in there. And I have a feeling that I change it up later on. So here, I really love these filler cards that are in the Kiwi um, edition. They're just they're really easy just to add a couple of embellishments to. Um, and I end up changing them over and over again, as you'll see here. I knew I wanted to use that the pink um, 4x6 and the, the hearts. That was a definite. And now here I am playing with that Dear Lizzie, the Dear Lizzie vellum pockets. And I decide to change over the card. So I put the card from a different one in that pink because I thought it matched well with the pink on the other side. And I like to put my cards in the pockets while I work with them just to make it a bit easier so they're not sliding and falling all over the place. So here I go with my first one. Now this is a bunny heavy layout. Um, this was the week before Christmas so I just finished my year at school and I was finally on holidays so I was hanging out with the buns a lot. Um, so I'm just layering a piece of cork and a couple of those chipboard pieces from the desktop sticker pack. And of course I can't go past my letter stickers and these are some new vellum ones that I have got and it just says hello darling which I thought was really cute just adding a couple of little wooden hearts which I'm running dry on but I have found somewhere to get some more so I'm very excited about that and I think I add yeah I do I add this little Maggie Holmes um, bow and I took off they come with a um, like a 3D foam adhesive and I find that you can kind of see it a little bit so I do pull it off and just use some of my oh, what's it called Helma I think it's Helma I think um, quick dry adhesive so here I just wanted to keep that cork going through the layout so I just backed this sticker on a tiny bit of cork and this is a really quick filler card actually for me very very quick a bit of Baker's twine Stick that all on and I am done, I think. Oh, a bit of the staple. That corner was being a bit a bit nasty. Didn't want to stay down, so need a bit of help. Um, next up, this photo, this was really cute. My husband was in our sunroom where the bunnies hang out and um, Poppet jumped on his back and Frida was running all around him. And the top of the picture didn't really have any significance. So I decided to try something. I've, I've had this vellum in my stash for quite a while and I don't really use it. I don't really know how to use it really. I do know how to use it. That's a silly way to put it. But 
I don't know who, how, I'm just a bit scared to use it really, pretty much, that's it. So I decided to put it on the top half of that photo just to block it out a little bit and make a embellishment cluster straight on the photo. So this is, what have we got here, um, that, that circle with the yellow writing is actually a Project Life divider that I've put through my punch. The desktop sticker says the sweetest things. And I got another one of those Maggie Holmes bows on there, which was really cute. And I think I get a bit of cork, do I? This cork is so, so good to use. It's just, you can use it for heaps of stuff. So I've used it for layering with making banners. I've used it for backing stickers. I've used it for cutting shapes out of. You would be able to punch or run it through your die cutting machines as well. Um, I did try a circle punch of mine on it, but it didn't, it wasn't thick, the punch hole wasn't thick enough to let it through, so I just freestyled it. So here I just cut another little heart out of that cork and just added a teeny tiny heart. This layout's like crazy bunny lady. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I was just happy to see them. I had three days at home doing absolutely nothing. It was fantastic, just relaxing. So here, just delving into my star wood veneers and that star cork piece, I think, is from a, oh, it's from one kit, maybe a Studio Calico, an old one, or a Citrus Twist. It's an old one anyway. Now these are basic grey alphas, and I have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes they love me, and sometimes they freaking hate me. Sometimes they decide to just peel off the uh, top layer of the sticker, and which leaves them pretty hopeless to use. So they actually worked for me this time, which was good. I've probably wasted a quarter of the pack <laughs> by mispeeling them off. So that's a little word of advice if you have those. Just be careful with them. Oh, what am I doing with this cork here? Another cork banner, I think. Sorry, I'm not very exciting today. I'm just <laughs> having one of those days. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of those lovely couples out there and spread the love. So here, just adding some of those Studio Calico word stickers that I'm obsessed with and popping that in. I have that second 3x4 pocket. I always seem to have trouble with it. Um, here, this is going to point to a photo of my brother-in-law, um, who's 10, my husband's little brother, and he was coming up with an idea for a social media um, website. He's a computer nut, like my husband is, and um, they have they speak for hours and hours about coding, and it's ridiculous how similar they are. So they live um, quite a few hours away. So the photo I actually grabbed off Facebook. And I do like to do that sometimes for family that live further away or um, just fr like adding friends' photos in as well. So here I've got plotting ideas because he's sitting on um, his slide in his backyard and it looks like Pinky and the Brain and it looks like he's plotting to take over the world. Um, <laughs> So this one I didn't want to add too much but I just added this pencil because I thought it was good because he's noting down ideas and I think I might add some alphas to it as well. And I made this photo collage in pick frame so I just made, or did I? No, Project Like App, that's what I used. So I just had a square photo and then those two smaller black and white ones were pretty bad quality. Um, so I just made them black and white just to make it a bit easier. Now here, this is my favourite thing to do with cork, is using it to stamp on. So um, I just used my clear acrylic block and a clear stamp and my stays on ink and made my own embellishment. So that's a little idea. I bought the cork, I think, from... I think I bought it from Studio Calico in a pack maybe but I'm sure um, if you're in America you'd be able to get it from one of your amazing craft stores jealous um, and 
it's really fun to work with so I'd highly recommend getting some cork to have a play around with so here oh this one well that was quick um, that bottom photo is just some rocky road that my husband and I made we're trying to make a new tradition oh, I must have added that after the camera too so that's just a bit of stamping as well on a piece of cork and cutting it into a banner and I just added some of that baker's twine just to tie it in with that photo below there you go I used a Heidi swap stamp for that one just felt like it needed a little something and it doesn't have a weak um, title card thingamajiggy because it's carrying on from a large week as usual. <laughs> I, fin I haven't finished 2014 yet, I'm still on the last couple of days but I'm up to my fifth album. How ridiculous is that? Five Project Life albums for 2014. So um, I would love to hear if you finished your 2014 yet. I would love to know I'm not the only one still going. So I've got a few days left and I haven't even touched 2015 yet. I've done my title page and that's it. I have bought my album though, so that's, that's a bit of encouragement to get started. Um, tonight I am joining in on a scrapbooking uh, scrap and chat for the scrappery. So I'm hoping to get a few things done. My photos are printed. I've just got to get my ass into gear and do something about it. Um, so I th I'm pretty sure, yep, I used all of the five things in my Grab 5 challenge. I've got the Kiwi Core Kit from Project Life, the Maggie Holmes bows, the, yep, five things. I got it, Adele. Um, Maggie Holmes bows, the desktop chipboard stickers, the cork and the Dear Lizzie um, vellum pocket. So I did actually use quite a lot of those desktop stickers which I was quite happy with. So if you've got any suggestions for um, thing, products you'd like to see in my next Grab 5 video let me know please if you'd like to see stamps or enamel dots, stickers, whatever. Give me some ideas for things you'd like to see me use. I know for my next one I definitely want to use a 6x6 pad. Um, but thanks for watching everyone and have a lovely week. Bye.